you guys i went for a birthday party today and you know it was so beautiful it was the 50th birthday party and i had a lot of fun and you know it's it's 12 or 6 a.m in egypt today but i will still record for you guys you see you see you see why you have to share my videos it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy hello my beautiful youtube subscribers my beautiful youtube family it's so good to have you guys here today thank you so much for always watching my videos subscribing liking and showing so much love thank you all so much this year we are getting to 500 subscribers amen 500 subscribers this year amen amen <laughs> today is q and a i want to answer some questions that have been asked you know concerning mental health and you know relationships and i hope this is going to be beautiful for you guys so let's go so the first question what's your idea and concept about relationships love and belongingness now is it an important factor in mental wellness oh, wow. the idea of love relationships is so important and it's very important it's very key to our mental well-being because you know we were made for relationships you know you have friends you have family so god doesn't even want us to live life alone god wants us to relate to collaborate to engage you know see the rhymes yeah god really wants us to enjoy our life he built us for relationships so no one should isolate themselves so the concept of relationship is very key it affects our mental well-being the first you know sign of depression that you see in people is that they start to isolate themselves they're just tired they don't want to mingle they don't want to talk to anyone they just want to be alone that is not how god designed it when we experience solid relationships when our relationships are blossoming whether it's your relationship with your you know significant other or your relationship with your family or your friends or your children when you have secure and solid and healthy relationships it affects your mental health i hope i answered that question for you and i hope it helped you the next question says i don't seem to have a good relationship with my siblings because i grew up being abused all in the name of discipline they never seem to understand me what can i do oh wow this is so sad i'm so sorry to hear that you know you experienced abuse growing up and you know you're in such dysfunction really want to hug you right now no one should abuse you all in the name of discipline so you first need to cut off from that toxicity you need to cut off i'm not saying cut off your family members but you have to dissociate yourself from that toxic environment where you're being abused seek more meaningful relationships for yourself go to where you're celebrated you're appreciated seek support from you know friends who appreciate you who love you practice self-care love upon yourself a lot it's good that you have you have identified the fact that you have been abused you need a lot of care for yourself from your friends and family don't build walls i know that you've been abused by your family but you know you still need people to heal you you need people you need to experience a lot of love from people and i'm not saying look for love in the wrong places embrace healthy relationships just live this best life that god has designed for you i wish you all the very best and i hope i answered your question so the next question says that you are giving the opportunity to advise your younger self about relationships what would the advice be i would say take your time there is no need to rush i know that we're in a fast-paced world take your time to learn about yourself first there is no need going into a relationship when you don't even know yourself you need to know yourself first what are the things that you love to do are you going to teach the person about you when you have not even taken time to learn about yourself there is no need rushing into a relationship when you don't understand yourself you need to go to the university of yourself learn about yourself what are your likes what are your dislikes what are, what are those things that trigger you what are those things that make you happy what are those things that make you sad what is your vision what is your goal what is your desire in life and i know i'm already like preaching now and i'm 
supposed to advise my younger self yeah it's, it's still the same thing i'm talking to younger people take time to also pursue your dreams your single time is for you to explore so many things find out and pursue those dreams that god has put in your heart because when you're on that lane that's when the man that god has designed for you will eventually find you when you're doing that thing that you're supposed to do but when you are busy you know you're not busy doing that thing how will that man that god has designed for you how will he find you how will he know that okay this is the person that is designed for me don't find relationship before you find purpose find purpose before you find relationships as a single person get on the journey of purpose discover yourself discover your life in god very very important and i think yeah that's some of the advice that I would give to my younger self. So another question here says that, how do I know he is the right person for me? Wow. Yeah. How you know that this person is the right person for you? It's by first knowing yourself. And I've shared this already in the previous question. You have to know yourself before you know that this man is the right person for you. Do you have the same values? Do your values align? Are you going on the same journey in life? Do you have the same principles in life? That's how you know if this person is the one for you. It's not just vibes and inshallah. It's not just, you know, I love this person and he loves me. You're not going on the same journey. And how do you know the, that the person is for you? It's by knowing yourself first. And then juxtaposing you know your values with this person's values that's how you know that this is the person for you that's one of the most important things and are you friends are you interested in friendship do you enjoy this person's company when you're with this person are you at peace is it someone that you're always fighting or you know he's always triggering you or she's always triggering you or you're always angry that's a red flag and i should do another video on red flags relationship red flags and mental health drop a comment if you want me to do a video on that are you friends are you genuinely interested in this person is this person genuinely interested in you beyond the love and the butterflies in your tummy that is eventually going to turn to bukata yes the butterflies will still won't turn to bukata let me not even lie to you to turn to bukata but when it turns to bukata Will you still be able to navigate that season together? Bukata means responsibilities. I'm a Yoruba girl. Unapologetic Yoruba girl. <laughs> but when the butterflies turn to Bukata, how are you able to navigate those seasons? You know, when you are able to, you know, bounce back and still be in that love because guess what it's not every time that you always feel the butterflies i'm not even lying shout out to people who always feel butterflies all through their marriage journey it's a good one and i i wish i wish i wish that that is what is going to happen for you but i'm just being real here that's so very important for you to know how to navigate those seasons and you know that's like a deep 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 deeper conversation but yeah so does this person really genuinely love and interested in you are you friends yeah that's how you know that he's the one or she's the one for you yeah this video is getting so long and i hope i answered your questions if you have more questions that you want me to answer as we get life mental health lifestyle you know marriage motherhood and life in between please drop them in the comments and i will be able to respond to them thank you so much everyone for joining me today of this channel tell me the joy my chances thank you thank you for always liking sharing subscribing to my channel i will see you in the next video thank you so much bye it's not just you know it's not just um it's not just um on a, on a put hey where are these butterflies what is happening where are my butterflies <laughs>